Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amari Walker and I am an environmental engineering PhD candidate at Duke University studying environmental engineering. Today, we're gonna to talk about whether you should major or minor in environmental engineering. First, I'll go through the pros and cons as far as whether it's good or not to minor in environmental engineering. And then I'll talk about my own story and how I decided whether or not I was going to minor in environmental engineering when I was a marine science major at UC Berkeley. So first, as you are on this video and on this channel and considering which one you should do, you're already on the right path towards your career goals of being in the environmental science engineering space. Whether that is solving global problems like our drinking water quality or climate change to even being more sustainable. Environmental engineers have a hand in all of these huge problems facing our world, including inventing ways to better recycle paper or plastic, even glass, to designing water treatment plants that can better filter out things like microplastics or chemicals like PFAS that stay in our water forever. The real question is, do you need to minor or major to accomplish your career goals in school? To major in something means that you are doing a structured set of coursework with the goal that the final career path revolves around that major, like environmental engineering. So if you want to get a professional engineering license, primarily in environmental engineering, you would want to major in that area. Choosing to minor in environmental engineering or just any minor in general means that you're getting training in another discipline. You typically do not do a minor and a major for the same uh, course or, or area. So that's just not really a thing. And it's really not a requirement to actually do a minor. The question is, what do you think it's gonna add value to and how is it gonna help you in the future as far as having a broader set of career options? Minors are typically about six to seven classes in that specific field, while majors are a lot more than that and they require a lot more prerequisites. So usually you wanna make sure that you're choosing, if you're adding a minor, uh, multiple classes that are overlapping as prerequisites for, for those same topics. Like you wanna kinda of stay within the science realm um, if you're doing a minor and major, unless you really want to get something totally different under your belt and have a whole new experience. But it's just a question of, of preferences. And so we're gonna kinda of talk about the pros and cons with that as well. So why should you minor in environmental engineering instead of majoring in it? The one main reason I can see why someone would choose to minor instead of major in environmental engineering is if they can't get into the major. Now, I'm sure there's sometimes ways to get around that and by just taking the classes if you still can, but minoring is always a great way to say, I'm very serious about this discipline. I wasn't able to get into the full coursework and you can just take as many of those classes as you are able to, um, to still kind of coincide with your career goals. I know in certain schools and colleges that it can be very difficult to get into like the School of Engineering or um, whatever department that major lies in. So. It's really just one a great option for if, if there's no other way to do it. For some of the cons, I know a lot of people that would say this could be a pro or a con. If you decide to go to graduate school, you want to switch majors like I did. I switched from marine science to an engineering degree for graduate school. And I thought about doing environmental engineering as a minor. A lot of people do that as a way to say that they're very serious about that path and it's a great way to get the needed training uh, for when you actually start taking more classes on a graduate level. And so that's one reason people would do a minor in environmental engineering, but it's also a con because you don't really need it um, unless you just feel like you need, the, you need it for the sake of needing it. But Sometimes the requirement for the courses aren't always within the disciplines that you're really interested in. Sometimes they're only leaving you concentrations in a specific area of environmental engineering that's not gonna help your master's degree or your PhD. So really just thinking about, is that really how much time you wanna spend in a different direction? And what are the availabilities for you as far as scheduling to still take classes that you really care about? Because 
I think you can still do just as great just taking the classes that you need before you go to grad school. The second reason I would not minor in environmental engineering is to get a job as an environmental engineer. The best way that you can actually get a job as an environmental engineer is to have that major under your belt because you're gonna be required to take one, the fundamentals of engineering as an examination and later the PE. And most job descriptions when you're applying for environmental engineering jobs require that you have a bachelor's degree in that field, not a minor. So really, if you know that you want to do this very specific thing, do not minor in it, major in it. All right, and here's another reason to not minor. Don't minor in environmental engineering just because, just because you can, just because you want to. It may not be a great use of your time and energy. Now, taking classes that you enjoy is great, but fulfilling things just for the sake of fulfilling them is not really gonna push you towards the career path that you're, you're looking towards. You really have to be very focused on what are the doors that you want open to you and what career paths you wanna explore. And don't just do minors for the sake of doing minors because you think it will add value to your resume. Really, they're gonna be looking at what classes you're taking, what internships you've done, what research projects you're involved in the letters of recommendation that you have, what organizations you're associated to. So don't get too caught up in all the classes and the minors and the double majors. Focus on making sure that you are a well-rounded individual for any opportunity that you want once you finish your bachelor's degree, whether that is going back to a graduate program or going straight to work. Make sure that you design and tailor your bachelor's degree with the end goal in mind and not just studying for the sake of studying or minoring for the sake of minoring. So like yourself, whether you're on this channel choosing between minoring and majoring, I, in my second or third year of my, my undergraduate degree, was trying to minor in civil and environmental engineering. I even declared the minor and said, okay, maybe I'll do this. But then I started to realize that the course requirements just to accomplish this were way too big and I really decided that the summer programs that I had um, really focused on doing would add more value than me doing summer classes to get to the graduate degree program that I cared about. And so I decided to just take the classes that I was most interested in because they would add value to my graduate degree when I got in and help me focus and decide on what areas of environmental engineering that I'm really passionate about. So, my decision was to not minor in environmental engineering. Even though I started on that track and started getting the, the prerequisites done, I realized that it would have taken me much longer to actually finish my bachelor's degree when I could already start my, my graduate degree immediately after. So no need for me to spend extra time and extra money for the sake of adding a few extra letters on my degree. And I'm already immediately into the program and doing my work as an environmental engineer. So. I got to take the classes that I wasn't able to take in graduate school. And so that's one of the reasons why I decided to not minor in environmental engineering. If you're still thinking about this and you really just don't know uh, that you, you still really wanna minor in something, you wanna add value to your degree in a way that that's gonna be hands down beneficial. One of the most popular minors for a STEM degree is computer science. And that is something that I would absolutely advocate for, um, whether that is a full on minor or just taking classes in the area, because that is just the way forward. That's the future, no matter what discipline of, you know, STEM that you're in, computer science is going to have a foothold in it and it's going to grow and expand um, because it's just so revolutionary and you, you have to get a handle on that if you wanna do good science, good research, um, and, and, just, and just be a good engineer in STEM. So think about doing computer science instead for a minor, if you're still thinking that you need that to add a little boost for yourself and go ahead and major in environmental engineering. And if you're looking for reasons for why you should major in environmental engineering, you should check out my video in this channel on the reasons you should. Now, I hope you enjoyed my debate or debacle over whether you should major or minor in environmental engineering. And of course the answer is major. Please, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to my channel. 
Also, don't forget to leave a comment below on why you decided to minor in environmental engineering. If there are enough responses and engagement, I'll put together a secondary video with a compilation of all of the reasons that people made that decision to go down that path so that everyone can have access to that information. Thank you again for watching and I can't wait to see you in future videos. Take care.